Yeah. They're in the hay thing. This is an update on how Freya is doing milking. I'm going to compare this to those first videos. Is there a hen up there? Oh, okay. <clears throat> Remember how I said I was going to look back and find it so hard to believe that she was so bad at the beginning? Oops. I still hold the milk pail only because she's so tall. <laughs> if I don't. I'll miss the pail. And I find that she prefers this teat milked from the back and the other one milked from the side. So it's just finding what works. She's turned into a phenomenal milk goat, as I hoped she would. If I had a bigger pail, then we would both be milking at the same time. But the mouth of this is too small for as widespread as her teats are. Just you can't milk next. Oh yeah. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Outside, no? Look at that, huh? Oops. Still spraying myself. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, yeah, we're really, really, really pleased with how well she's doing. Here we go. Favorite scratch and spot. Mm -hmm. With her lip. I think that from here on out, Freya is just going to be the greatest goat. She's going to give us the flashiest babies. And I want to hoard them all if they look like Thor, which I know I won't be able to. This side, she's got so much milk on this one side. The other side was the side that was damaged at the beginning and had all the clogs and everything. And it doesn't milk out as fully as this side does. This side is just amazing. Look at her. Proud of our girl. You can shut it off later. Well, we were getting in the truck, ready to go to my uncle's to help him build a fence or reinforce his fence, I guess, and pick up some hay from him. And I sent Harley down to get our T-Post pounder. And she said, we can't leave. Kiwi's having piglets. Actually, I said she's pigleting. 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 Um, so I just cleaned their pen out last night, which I'm really glad that I did. Because, yeah, we're in the middle of having babies. Okay, so she's making her nest. There they are back there. Two. We have a boy and a girl. Now, the interesting fact about these girls, they're full sisters, Peach and Kiwi are. Peach will always have babies that look like Mangalitsas with the stripes. Kiwi will have 50-50. She'll have some that looks like the Berkshire, which is the dad, and some that look like Mangalitsas. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So we're going to see how many she has. It's the first time I got a due date correct. And I actually didn't even see them do the deed. I didn't actually even see them do the deed, but I did hear them do it for what I thought was her previous due date. And she must not have taken for that time. Like she didn't conceive that time. So Pigs are pregnant for three months, three weeks, and three days, and they come into heat every 18 days. So I knew when she didn't have the babies on that first due date,
that I could calculate 18 days and be in an approximate area of when she should give birth. That was March 5th, which is today. So I actually got a due date right for once, which is pretty fun. Yeah, she's about to lay down. She's making her nest. We just like to stay here and make sure everything's good, just like we did with her sister. She's also a very good mom. So She's a little protective, isn't she? She's a little more on the protective side, but she's still very easily to easy hand, easily hand, hand, uh, handled. Easily handled. So. so we'll keep you posted. Let's see how many we get. So far, we have two girls and three boys. So both of the striped mangalitsa looking ones are boys. And this is a girl, this is a girl, and this is a boy. Now, hear how she's talking to them? She already passed one after birth, so I'm not entirely sure that she's going to have more. She's bad. In the past, she's had eight? Nine. Nine? She's so, also had six. So, pigs, they have their babies in what's called a horn. Uh, and they can have two horns, which means they'll have so many babies and then pass after birth. And then it could be a day or two days before they have the second horn. Now that's not always the case. And usually these girls will just have all their babies all at one time. But there can be after birth in between. So she could still be in labor, just paused for right now. And she did just did that with the record. Yeah. Well, but she passed the after birth yeah. after. So we're just gonna wait and see. Usually when they lay on their side and they talk to them, what she's doing, and they'll shiver a little bit, that usually means they're done. That could just mean she's done with the first horn. So in the past, she's had a litter of six and a litter of nine. Right now she's at five. So I guess we'll just keep you posted and we'll let you know. They are so, so cute. We're going to leave Mama Kiwi alone with her babies, and we're going to go to my uncle's, and then we're going to check back in with her because she already delivered her afterbirth, and she's really not showing any signs of labor. I think she's done with five, which is fine because they're all healthy, they're all strong, they're all beautiful babies. So, yeah, so we're going to check back in with you guys in a little bit and see if she's had any more or if she's just done with five. Hi guys. <clears throat> okay, we've had a full day so far. I mean, a full, full day. He, apparently he thinks he's dying. We are tagging and giving the final CDT on our lambs. <clears throat> so, oh, there goes one of my tags. So I have a book where I keep who's had what, and that's where I keep um, the numbers, which RFID sca uh, scrapey tag goes with who. So this little guy here is, oh, I need to ban them too. Yeah. This little guy here is a ram out of Delilah and Fozzie, and he's the second one, so he gets seven, which is this tag here. I'll show you the tags. It's just like an earring. Yeah, it's just like an earring. And he thinks he's dying right now. Right. Stronger than any of the other ones. So here's the tags that we have. They're RFID. They'll have, um, this is our yeah. farm's number, and then this is the lamb number. And these could be scanned. Funny. And then I got uh, these through, I think it was Premier One. Um, it's specific for these scrapey tags, so you just fold them in half. Yeah. And it goes like this. And in their ear, you want to do... About an inch in and about a quarter of the tags worth. Really? So that leaves room for it to grow. What? Right here. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we're going to do that real quick. Hold on. She's not mad. Apparently. Holding them like this, they kind of just flop. Okay. That's done. And, and he's it. tagged. It's just a little pinch, just like getting your ears pierced. And now we're going to give him his... I got it. Got it? We're going to give him his... CDT back, here. which 
from it. Oh. It's just this by uh, Duravet. And it goes in sub Q or IM. I prefer IM and I try to get in the. Um, oh. Jumped in my arm. Here, let's, let's, let's you stand up. Okay. Okay. All right. I got him. Okay. You got him? Mm -hmm. So I just like to oh, go right back here in the muscle, make it quick, pull back to make sure you don't have a vein, no blood, and you go. Um, Wait, don't let him go. We need to band him. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Uh, where did I leave the cap for this? I think you're on it. That's okay. I'll put that in the bucket for right now. And we're just going to band him really quickly because he's going to a show home. So he needs to be banded. So this is the same tool that we use to uh, crop their tails. I might want to stand him up so I can feel both. He is strong. Holly's getting the work around here. Now you gotta make sure you feel both. I feel nothing right now, so I'm gonna skip it. I just feel a scrotal sack, which means he's afraid and he's sucked him up in. See if I can work Not very rampant. work them down. You just have to make sure you get them both. If you don't get them both. There's one, and there's two. I'm just, I know this is like a terrible thing, but you have to make sure you get them both down there. Hey, yeah, you got them down. What? Your earrings, all done. Mm -mm. I can't fill them. Well. And get my right hand down here. I know this is like a terrible thing, right? Has to be done. I have to grab your brother again. They're so tiny. I know. <laughs> what did you do today, Harley? Mom grabbed some Rams nuts. I didn't do nothing. He's sucking them up. I need to wait. Yeah, I don't want to miss. No. There's one. There's two. Let me see if I get this up in there. Pull it down. There's one. Your net. She's like, I don't have no nuts to get rid of. No, but you have to get tagged. Your little earring. I'm not going to do it because I just can't get them both through there. So let him go for now. Let him go back. Daddy. See if I can get his brother. So. Let me grab his brother. Huh? Yeah, go ahead. In the past. I apparently have missed one of the testicles, and then that disqualifies him for a show. So uh, if I have any doubt or any question about it, I'm just not going to do it because I don't want to cause that headache. Um, you got him? Excuse me. <laughs> the sheep. Coming through. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can. Whew, so heavy. And strong. You would be surprised. You'd be surprised I can't feel much. both of his. Maybe it's because he's upside down. Yeah. Oh, don't you dare. The sheep are mad at me. Yeah, 
Dang, you're fat. So at this point, they have, okay, I'm going to let go. <laughs> I got both of his testicles through. So that was easy. I could get both of his. At this point, they have a large scrotal sac. Yeah, they're both in. Okay, let him go. He's done. Oh. They have a large... They have a large scrotal sac at this point, but the testicles are very small. So you just have to really... Harley's turning into quite the lamb wrangler. Well, it's getting dark as we're doing this, so we're going to hurry up and get them done, and then we'll catch back up. All right, guys, so that is going to conclude today's video. My goodness, what a day that we had. Wait, huh? No, no. I'm not tagging them. They have little tiny ears. No. Um, we did barn work this morning. We had piglets this morning. I went to my uncle's and drove in 50 tea posts. We came home and um, put the hay out for the cows. We're going to put the hay back here. And then we tagged and vaccinated some lambs. So I would say, super, super strong. I would say that's a full day. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Oh, by the way, I did end up getting both of the uh, ram lambs castrated. We had to just turn them upside down, and I just had to take my time and make sure they were both in there. So, you know, all the fun things that farmers get to do and they never get any credit for. Yeah. Anyways, we hope you have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.